We a murder in the beat. What up, YouTube? Back with a quick video. Got uh, got my 2019s out today. Want to show those off. Start off with this male super inch orange dream spot nose. This boy is uh, growing pretty good, about 400 grams. I'm looking forward to him being uh, being ready to go, being ready to pair with some females by the by the winter time. Hashed him out in uh, late 2019, to, around in November. Beginning, beginning of the, uh, the middle of November, I can't remember. I gotta check my records, but uh, but yeah, this is a male super inchy orange dream spot nose. I produced them from a super inchy orange dream bred to an inchy spot nose, and uh, yeah, this is uh, this is this boy is just beautiful, man. I really like these dots that he has on his tail. You can see the spot nose influence. I guess it's coming from the spot nose. Then he goes to his head. He got a little, little rabbit, little rabbit mark on his head. But yeah, this boy is uh, looking forward to him producing some really nice offspring for me. I still kept that. I'm gonna line breed these guys and see if I can. Well, at the end of the day, I want to just clean up all the dirt off the back. All this dirt right here, I just want to clean that up. So I just I got a yellow belly desert ghost that I'm gonna I will, I'll pair to the sister that I'm pretty sure it'll knock that all out and i'm also gonna add in some vanilla to this and vanilla and another do another dose of orange dream as well so uh got a few projects in mind for this boy and then again this is a super inchy orange dream spot nose all right guys so next is uh the sister to that male a uh she's a super inchy orange dream spot nose as well she don't want to sit still at all, so excuse the focus. But she's produced, produced from the same parent as that. She's a clutch mate. Of course she's produced from the same parent. But uh, yeah, I like this girl. She's a hog, man. She just eats and eats and eats. She just came out of shed, totally empty, hatched out in November, and she's uh, knocking down 500, almost to 500 grams. She's like four, six, 75 or 485 something like that so i don't i see her probably being over 1200 grams by the time she's a year old because she's a she's a tremendous eater i love the look of these two i actually had her for sale glad she didn't sell this is probably one of the ones that you need to keep when uh you can start producing it, I, I got a lot of recessive projects but i still like a good multi codon combination as well so, this is a female super inchy orange dream spot nose. All right, next up we got a blackhead female. I didn't produce this one. She was produced by a friend, by my partner, uh, S and P Reptiles. He actually sent her down here to uh, be bred to some of my some of my combos. Probably gonna take her either ultra male or clown route. I'm not sure quite yet. Got some time. Still got another year or two for her. The way she eats, she probably she'll probably be uh, twelve hundred grams by the winter as well. She's probably I had her for like a month. And she's already up a hundred, over a hundred grams since I got her. But yeah, this is a female blackhead, quality animal. She has the kind of parent that produced her was a super blackhead male bred to a normal female. So she actually she came out of and the, uh, I believe the super blackhead she came from Ralph Davis. So. Great quality. And she is just a looking man. Look at her belly. Love that belly. I can't wait to add yellow belly. I actually have my uh my male blackhead out on uh breed alone to my boy S P. He so he's over there uh breeding a couple females. I didn't have any more females for him at the time, so I sent him off to go go put some work in. So he over there breeding about two or three females now. Looking forward to seeing the, the results of those clutches. I have a clutch in the incubator off of him as well. So, we're waiting on those to come out of the egg. They actually hatched out a couple weeks ago. Oh, a week ago. They still in the egg, though. They I cut them about a week ago. I don't really record the cutting. I kind of like to do that alone. Don't like to do it with the kids and my wife. and We just hang out and do it. 
But yeah, this is uh, as you hear my daughter in the background. But yeah, this is a uh, zero point one blackhead female. All right, YouTube, back with a, another one. So I got this guy last year, two thousand nineteen. This is a fire spot nose head clown. I got him around this time last year. This boy is uh he's a. Uh, He's a, yeah, he's 2019. He is. I bought him in 2019. So I've actually been I've actually paired him two times with a visual clown female. So we'll see what happened with this one. Uh beautiful example of the morph. This camera is actually dulling his colors out. He's actually a lot brighter than this, so in person. That head stamp, his head stamp is uh is crazy. And he's a uh, uh, you can tell I hold my snakes because they none of my head shot, but look at that head stamp, man. That's amazing. But yeah, great eater, great looking snake. I don't really run my males too too big, so he's not humongous. He's like six hundred grams, but so he's he's getting a job done. So I, you know, he's still eating. If he slows down to eating, then I'll stop pairing him. But um, he's every week small rats. He's actually getting bigger. I think he's probably closer to seven hundred grams now, but he is uh he's actually getting too squirrely for me. So. That's it on him. This is a fire spot nose head clown. All right, guys. Up next is my leopard ultra male boy. He's uh, he's actually breeding, breeding with a clown female this season and a uh, leopard spot nose. I didn't want to push him too hard. He's young and he's also uh, he's not big, big. He's probably like seven hundred grams. He's he's seven hundred. I know for sure. He's like seven hundred grams. So kind of going to two females. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. All my other females has been bred to other males, so got him going to two girls. You know, I pick I pick my spots. I I know what I want to see this combo paired over to. Excuse the snoring, my dog over here sleeping. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I pick my spots. I know what I want to produce, so there's no need to breed him to like every female in my collection. So I know, you know, I got other females that are just waiting to get to size to pair to him as well. So. Once those girls get up to size, I'm gonna show one here in a second. Once they get up to size, I'll be pairing him to those to that girl. But uh, right now he's just going to a clown, make some double heads into a, a inchy spot nose. The inchy spot nose female that produce those those super inchy orange ring spot nose. But yeah, this is my uh, leopard ultra male. All right, guys. So up next is my hypo hit clown female. I think I show. I don't know if I showed her before. I know I took pictures of her, but I can't remember if I showed any videos of her. But yeah, this is a hypo, 100% head clown. Plans for her is once I produce a visual clown male, hopefully it's a it's a fire spot nose or some type of visual uh, other visual head, other visual clown male. I will pair with her and prove out the clown, and then breed a breed one of her sons back to her and produce the hypo clowns. But yeah, this girl is a beautiful example, man. She's a She's a good eater, but I lost my live I lost my live source of food, so she doesn't want frozen thaws, so I, I can only get frozen thaw uh two or three times a month, so she's not uh and then it's very sizes, so it's not always big or it might be small smaller rats or bigger rats, but so hopefully here soon me and my brothers link up and start breeding our own rats and we'll start pumping them up. But yeah, this uh this is a female Hypo head clown. <clears throat> All right, guys. Up next, I got the uh, black pastel pinstripe trick female coming in at about seven hundred and eighty grams, probably. She's a great eater, great looking female. As far as pattern goes, this is probably my favorite combo. As far as pattern, just that busy pattern is, and that dorsal stripe is beautiful. So plans for her when she's next year when she's up to size and age is to put her to uh the leopard ultra male. So try to get those uh I wish I wish she had a yellow belly in her. Or uh, my uh yeah, or my leopard ultra male had yellow belly. I like to see that with yellow belly in it. But we'll work it in there sometime down the road. Uh but yeah, this is a black pastel pinstripe trick. So guys, all right, back with another one. This is uh, a pie female. I'm not sure when she was born, but this is a female pie that I've actually 
have my brother SP to thank for this girl. He picked up a collection and this little gem was included. So I picked I got her. He sent her over here to get uh to be raised up and bred to some greatness. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. By the time she's old enough, I should have uh some double some double recessive to put her to, uh, ultra clown, inchy ultra clown, leopard ultra clown, uh hypo clown. So we'll figure it out. It's gonna be some it's gonna be some nice combos to go to this girl. This is uh like I said, this is a female pie hundred percent oh, I left that out. She has hundred percent of hit albino. So I'll be trying to I don't really want any albino pies, so I'm gonna be playing away from that as much as I can. But yeah, this is a female I'll, I'll albino pie, a female pie hit albino. Alright, back with back with another female. This is the last one. Uh, this is a GHI Phantom female. Oh, GHI Phantom. GHI Phantom. I have a GHI Phantom female, uh, breeder girl. But my boy sent this girl to me, a GHI Mojave, that he picked up in that collection that he bought. So he sent her to me. I'm going to finish raising her up. She bought 429 grams, 430 grams. We're going to finish raising her up and uh, get her into some, into some blackhead stuff. I no, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna put her into some blackhead hypo stuff. That's the plan for her. It's to go to a blackhead hypo direction. So hopefully by the time she's ready to go, I have some super blackhead hypos and we'll be ready. And she'll be uh she'll be a good eater and be ready to go for us. But yeah, this is a female GHI Mojave. William murder in the beat.